this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to compare two interesting heavyweight wireless gaming mice, the ROG Sparfa X and the Corsair M65 RGB Ultra Wireless. These are two intriguing mice for a number of different reasons. They're both heavy though, with the Sparfa X weighing in a striking 169 grams, and the M65 are going to 128 when you put all the additional weights on it. Now I've reviewed both these mice separately and I'll link to those videos in the description. But here I'm going to talk to you about the differences between them and what I like and don't like about them. And I'll show off the features and facets of them. I'm going to start with the ROG Sparfa X, which as you can see is intriguing for a number of different reasons. One of which, and this is one of the big highlights of it, is the charging dock that it comes with. This is a magnetic dock which allows you to put the mouse on it when you're not using it so that you can charge it up easily and make sure that you never need to plug it in. And that's one of the highlights that I found when reviewing it is that I basically never needed to plug it in. As long as I remembered to occasionally put it on the dock, it would be fine. You can get 12 hours of charge with just 15 minutes of docking or plugging it in and it has 65 hours of battery life with the RGB lighting turned off. The next highlight is the 12 programmable buttons, six of which are clustered on the left-hand side around where your thumb would sit. Now, these are unfortunately too close together in my mind. You'll note that there are different size and shape to them, and they're designed to look like the ROG Owl Eye logo. However, unfortunately, I find they're just too close together and not easy to discern which is which, also, as default, for some reason, they do crazy things like mute your audio or open the window start menu. But you can reprogram them within the Armory Create software, which I showed off in the review. You'll also notice there are two buttons on the left hand side of the mouse, and those are front and back. You normally find as thumb buttons on a mouse. You also note a large shape to it, which has not only a thumb rest, but also either a rest for your pinky or your ring finger, depending on how you hold it. This is a larger mouse, and as you'll see from the side by side in a minute, much larger than the M65 RGB Ultra Wireless. And if you're a palm gripper that wants a large mouse, then that's the better option. You see the M65 here, quite tiny by comparison, but it is intriguing for a number of reasons that I'll go into in a minute. And just for a side-by-side -side comparison, you will see the sheer differences between them. Now, I found that the M65 had a really interesting click setup with a really nice sort of ping to it and a response from it. Both of them have this sort of solid metal aluminium frame, which is part of the reason they're so weighty and leads to you feeling like you have bought a nice, solid premium mouse and that is certainly a nice appeal when you've spent a lot of money. The Sparthrex is remarkably expensive and they're both not cheap. But I do feel like you're getting what you're paying for here just because of the overall design setup and aesthetic. The way it feels in the hand and the sort of build quality of the two. But you can see just the sheer size difference between the Sparthrex and the M65. The M65 is tiny by comparison and i said in my review that it was a bit too small for me unfortunately i said if it was just a touch larger it would be almost perfect for me and the spartha x is quite a bit larger and is a very nice setup in terms of the potential comfort for it the weight of it i think is a bit too heavy for me i found a little bit of fatigue from it i also found i really struggled getting used to the setup it's obviously nice having those finger rests. But I couldn't work out whether you're meant to hold it like this with your sort of pinky on the side where the rubber grip is and your ring finger on that rest. Or maybe you shift your hand over a little bit and you have your pinky on the finger rest on the right hand side. I think that gives you a potential idea of the options of how you hold it. You also note on the underside that it has some rather small areas for the skates, but it still manages to get about quite well. Now I'm going to show you the size of my hand and the size of the mouse from various different angles so you just get an idea of the overall setup. So my hand's about 7 inches just over in measurement and I found that this mouse is a nice fit in terms of the size of it, in terms of the length and the width of it. It's a very large mouse. This is one of the largest mice that I've ever seen. So if you want a large mouse then this is almost certainly worth considering and one of the highlights of that is because of the width of it as well, you find that you're not putting your fingers on the desk or on the mouse mat. 
that your fingers are well off of it and there's no problems with fingers and thumbs getting in the way while gaming which is a brilliant thing obviously also this size means that you have access to more buttons and the ability to grip it in different ways now the m65 ultra wireless is a titchy little mouse by comparison however as i said it is still sturdy and heavyweight it comes with its own weight system in the box you have the option to either add in the silver screw in ones or the just use those or to use the black weights and those or to use neither so you have the option to adjust it it comes in at 110 grams as standard and goes up to 128 when you put them all in so even then it's still substantially lighter than the Sparfa X which as I said tops out at 169 grams there's might be some variance in that because Zeus says it's 168 but I managed 169 with mine you'll see that both these mice have USB-C charging but obviously the M65 doesn't have a dock so that's one downside to it however it does have a very good battery life you can get up to 120 hours out of it in Bluetooth mode so that's another difference between them that the M65 RGB Ultra Wireless has both Corsair's Slipstream Wireless 2.4 GHz and it also has a Bluetooth connectivity. The specs are also slightly different. The M65 has eight programmable buttons, which I'll talk to you a bit more about in a minute. It also has 50 Gs of acceleration and 650 IPS, which is different from the Sparfa X, which has 450 IPS, 50 Gs acceleration and 19,000 DPI versus a 26,000 on the Corsair mouse. So Corsair has a lot better setup in terms of the overall specs. This also has a 2000 Hertz polling rate versus the 1000 Hertz on the Sparth Rex. It has 90 hours of battery life versus the 65 on the Sparth Rex. So the M65 is more powerful in terms of the specs. So it is a lot smaller, a lot more tiny, and that might be a downside for some and it was for me however i do still feel like this is one of the best mice i've tried lately um despite the weight of it because it is still quite weighty but what you'll see is you only have three side buttons one of them is the sniper button but because of the setup of them they're a lot easier to access it's much easier to fill that sniper button and to access those buttons you'll also see you have dpi up and down and an indicator to let you know when you switch between those modes and which level you're on so you know which level of dpi you're at just by looking at the color of that there's only two rgb lighting zones on this mouse as well the logo which is hidden by your hand and that led indicator now one of the things that i enjoyed most about this mouse that i go into a bit more depth on in the review and show off is the click response from it because it has a zero gap design and it has some very nice omron switches which give a really good tactile feedback and an overall nice vibe to them. Switch is, is a very important part of this comparison as well, because obviously the M65 has those Omron switches. The Sparva X comes with ROG switches, so Asus's own switches that are guaranteed up to 70 million clicks. But what makes the Sparva X interesting is that you have the ability to swap the switches. So on the underside, you'll see there are four bungs. You can remove those bungs and then you can access the internals of the mouse and doing so enables you to not only get inside the mouse and potentially access the battery to change that in future but also to swap out the switches there are two extra rog switches included in the box so if you are concerned about double clicking issues or general wear and tear on your mouse switches over time then it Sparfa x is intriguing because it lets you change them out without any soldering or any messing about. There's a tool included in the box to remove the screws in the bottom, and it's really easy to just take those bungs off and get access to this, and then you just basically have to pull the top of the mouse off. It's a really simple setup. It then has this push fit socket design on the switches, three pin switches that you can then take out and remove. As I said, two extra ones included in the box, you can purchase more on Amazon, for example, quite easily. You can see I've got some blue ones here that I purchased myself. Five pounds for a pack of six. So really easy to get access to extra switches if and when you need them. Or if you just want to try different switches and change them out. They just pop out and then you can pop the new ones in. There's only three pin design 
I saw the Chakram core, which had the ability to have five pin as well. So not quite as flexible, but the fact that you can access this and also be able to get access to where the battery is and potentially change that in the future makes this mouse potentially longer lasting, more durable and easier to upgrade in the future or to repair if you need to, which is obviously very appealing. So the Spartha X is the more intriguing of the two, perhaps more feature rich with more buttons and the ability to change the switches and access various things. It also might be preferable for those with larger hands. It also has more RGB lighting, as you'll see. You have not only a cluster around the side buttons, but the mouse wheel, the logo, and a DPI button as well. On the charging dock, you also have an indicator on the bottom of that to let you know how much charge you've got. Both mice come with a USB-C charging cable. So that's obviously a highlight and moving away from micro USB and they're easy enough to plug in. The ROG Spartha X actually has two USB cables, one for the charging dock and one for the mouse. So you can actually plug the mouse in without having to disconnect the charging dock, which is a simple and yet wonderful bonus. Obviously with that charging dock, it's a lot more convenient as well, which is a winner. And you have a potential for a lot more buttons. So on paper, it looks like the Spartha X is the better of the two. However, obviously under the hood, the M65 RGB Ultra Wireless is actually more specs rich. It has faster response, better acceleration, higher DPI. It's also lighter and I found it to be easier to use and more capable. However, it is a lot smaller, unfortunately. And so that is a consideration. And obviously it doesn't have the ability to swap the switches out. So longevity might not be quite as good, but only the test of time will find out whether that's the case. I really like the overall vibe of the M65 with that red sniper button too. So both these mice are interesting for a number of different reasons. Hopefully you found this versus video intriguing. Be sure to check out the reviews of both of them linked to in the description so you can find out more, including a look at the software. And let me know in the comments what you think or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.